welcome back to my channel to a series of quick tip videos. Today I will talk about a leasehold covenant for quiet enjoyment in a commercial lease. Every commercial lease that you will come across will contain an implied covenant for quiet enjoyment and that covenant is to be observed by the landlord. Quiet enjoyment means that the landlord must make sure that there is no interference with the tenant's use and enjoyment of the premises but the meaning of the word quiet does not only include the absence of noise, but it also extends to direct or physical interference. However, the covenant will not apply if a breach was in existence before the lease was granted. And to have a clear understanding of what that means, I suggest you read a summary of this case or wherever that case is going to appear um, on the screen. So what is the landlord responsible for? The landlord is not responsible for the acts of third parties, but he is responsible for his acts, the acts of his employees, agents, and for other tenants he may have. The landlord is um, responsible for lawful acts only, the reason being that the tenant will have its own remedies against the person um, committing an unlawful act. For example, trespassing onto the tenant's property without permission would be an unlawful act. There is of course a lot of case law on acts which have constituted a breach of the quiet and German covenant and I have set out a few on the next slide. I suggest that you read the facts of each case to have a better understanding of how the courts interpret breach of the quiet and German covenant. Nevertheless, it's important to bear in mind that the courts will decide each case on its facts. Why would the parties want to include this covenant in the lease if it's already implied? Well, the inclusion of an express covenant makes the obligation clear as the tenant may not be aware of the existence of the implied covenant. And it's very true to say that many tenants would not be aware. In addition, it gives the parties the opportunity to modify the covenant in its favor. And if you would like me to prepare a video on how to modify that covenant, uh, sorry, on how to modify that covenant, please um, leave a comment below. And the last thing, very briefly, um, the meaning of quiet enjoyment in an express covenant will not change. It will be the same as for an implied covenant. Mm -hmm.